imagine a world steeped in the twilight. A world where questions are many and answers are few. A world where reason is a foreign guest and blind tradition, the reigning monarch. Then, as if in the blink of an eye, a surge of intellectual defiance sweeps across the horizon. Dawn breaks. The world is bathed in a glow so magnificent, it forever transforms the contours of human understanding. Welcome to the Ages in Motion channel. If you're new here, let's journey through time together. Push gently that subscribe button and the bell icon to step into the fascinating epics of the past. Today, we're diving deep into the intellectual tide that forever changed the face of humanity, the Enlightenment. An era that dared to confront the unquestioned, dared to think the unthinkable, and dared to alter the course of history itself. Think of the Age of Enlightenment as a grand act of rebellion, not fought with swords and guns, but with ideas and knowledge. From the 17th to the 18th centuries, this gust of change, affectionately termed the Enlightenment, swept across the lands of Europe and left its mark in places far and wide. This era is more than a moment in history, it is the dawn of a new consciousness, a new way of viewing the world. Now, when we talk about the Enlightenment, we're not just referring to a tiny flame flickering in a cavernous darkness. Far from it. This was a monumental beacon, a veritable lighthouse that pierced the veil of ignorance and superstition. Its radiant beam of knowledge cast a revealing light on the shadows of the past, illuminating a path toward a future defined by reason, evidence, and intellectual curiosity. In this momentous period, the venerable titans of the old world stepped aside, their voices drowned out by a new chorus of thinkers, scientists, philosophers, and radical visionaries. They were the torchbearers of knowledge, the vanguards of an intellectual revolution that refused to be snuffed out. Their spark ignited the flame of understanding, marking the beginning of a new age where reason reigned supreme over tradition. Imagine the scene. A disparate group of enlightened thinkers, their brows furrowed in deep concentration and their eyes sparkling with curiosity, sat huddled in candlelit drawing rooms, littered with scrolls and tomes of antiquity. They were united, not by the uniformity of their ideas, but by the thrilling spirit of intellectual defiance that pulsated in their veins. Picture them, these courageous Kanyashani, refusing to surrender to the comforting lull of conformity and consensus. Instead, they chose to wade through the murky waters of uncertainty and doubt. They dissected dogmas, interrogated ingrained beliefs, and essentially tossed 101 questions into the philosophical ether. Their minds were like relentless locksmiths, persistently fiddling with the intricate lock of understanding, unwilling to rest till they cracked the code. The mysteries of life, previously ascribed to divine entities or left to the whims of fate, were no longer to be unraveled by looking skywards. No more would answers be sought in the cryptic patterns of stars or the prophetic utterances of oracles. Instead, these audacious architects of reason began to seek solutions by training their telescopes on the tangible reality around them from the intricacies of a blooming flower to the complexities of social systems. The Enlightenment, then, was not a simple flicker in the darkness, it was akin to someone striking a gargantuan match, a Prometheus unbound, bringing fire to humanity. The birth of this intellectual blaze ignited the darkened corridors of traditional wisdom, casting a radiant glow on the dusty corners of established thought. The light was unforgiving in its brilliance, laying bare the flaws and fallacies of blind faith and superstitious beliefs. Each flickering shadow thrown by this mammoth match represented a question, a doubt, a hypothesis, and each beam of light signified a step towards reason, a move towards logic, a stride towards understanding. This was a momentous period in human history when the sages of old stood aside, making way for scientists, philosophers, and radical thinkers. The torch of knowledge had been lit, and there was no snuffing it out. The dawn of reason had begun, banishing the darkness of ignorance. The Enlightenment was more than a movement, it was the rebirth of human intellect. Let's delve a little deeper, to encounter some of the most influential figures of the Enlightenment. Our first trailblazer on this intellectual journey is the British philosopher John Locke. Locke was a veritable luminary, whose ideas were so far-reaching that they challenged the very foundation of governance. Imagine, if you will, a man so immersed in the world of ideas that he could easily outwit an entire convocation of scholars. Locke was a firm believer in the concept of natural rights, 
and he posited that the three key facets of these rights were life, liberty, and property. He envisioned a government that served as a guardian to these inalienable rights, ensuring their protection at all costs. This idea was nothing short of revolutionary, challenging the prevailing notion of absolute monarchy and opening the floodgates to democratic ideals. Locke's philosophy was a beacon of inspiration for the American revolutionaries, who used his theories as a springboard to launch their own battle for independence, and in doing so, dramatically rewrote the future of the American continent. Next in line is Voltaire, a French Enlightenment thinker whose wit was as sharp as his pen. A vocal champion for freedom in all its forms, Voltaire was renowned for his adamant support of civil liberties. His vehement advocacy for freedom of speech and religion, coupled with his fervent opposition to the overbearing influence of the church and state affairs, was a rallying cry for the proponents of liberty. Voltaire's relentless campaign against religious intolerance and dogmatic thinking heavily influenced the discourse that led to the seismic shift in social and political norms during the French Revolution. His ideas stirred the pot of societal transformation, making him a pivotal figure in the orchestration of the Enlightenment. Adding to the cavalcade of Enlightenment thinkers is Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Rousseau was a philosopher who believed in the wisdom of the crowd, the notion that the collective people should be the true custodians of power. His magnum opus, The Social Contract, was a powerful treatise on political philosophy that had an extraordinary impact both in his native France and in the newly formed United States. His ideas were a wake-up call to the public, causing them to reassess their societal structures and question the distribution of power. Rousseau's work was instrumental in creating the ideological underpinnings for democratic governance, his ideas shaping the socio-political changes of his time and beyond. Not to be forgotten is Baron de Montesquieu, an astute observer of political systems and a champion of balance in governance. He proposed that power should not be hoarded by one entity but rather be divided among different branches of governance. His theory, which we now know as the principle of separation of powers, was revolutionary in its insistence that no single body should possess absolute authority. His ideas deeply resonated with the founding fathers of the United States, who incorporated his principles into the bedrock of their constitution. Montesquieu's philosophy has shaped modern democratic systems, making him a crucial contributor to the Enlightenment movement. In the league of these heavyweights, Thomas Paine was the underdog who packed quite a punch. His pamphlet, Common Sense, was an extraordinary piece of work that provided a robust intellectual backing to the American Revolution. Paine's potent arguments against British rule sparked a wildfire of revolutionary spirit among the American colonists. His influence went beyond mere academic circles, igniting the flames of revolt and bolstering the call for American independence. And lastly, we have the towering figure of Immanuel Kant. Kant's philosophical prowess was second to none. His exploration of ideas such as reason versus emotion, nature versus nurture, and subjective versus subjective sparked profound intellectual debates that still reverberate through academic corridors today. Kant's work was not just a cornerstone of the Enlightenment but continues to influence a wide range of disciplines, from philosophy and sociology to psychology and political science. Each of these philosophers, in their unique ways, made profound contributions to the intellectual movement known as the Enlightenment. Their theories, their ideas, and their courage to challenge prevailing norms laid the groundwork for the modern world we inhabit today. Their intellectual legacy continues to inform our understanding of the world, shaping our societies and democracies in innumerable ways. And what did this wave of enlightenment achieve, you ask? Well, it's fair to say that it utterly transformed the world. Once the dust of history settled, what emerged from the remnants of the past was a shining edifice of intellectual freedom and radical thought. The enlightenment was no mere ripple in the waters of time, it was a veritable tsunami of change, a spectacular show of intellectual emancipation. Imagine, a world once shrouded in the gloom of unquestioned authority, suddenly jolted awake by the clarion call of reason. The Enlightenment did just that, it roused the world from its deep slumber of passive acceptance, shaking the very foundations of faith and tradition. And let's not forget the role it played in redefining power dynamics. The old guard, the complacent aristocrats, the tradition-bound clerics, the monarchs glued to their thrones, were shown the door. In their place stepped the average Joes and Janes, the common man and woman who were handed the reins of society, 
along with the tools and resources to steer it towards a more equitable future. The Enlightenment was the great equalizer, the harbinger of social and political transformation. This intellectual revolution didn't just remain confined to the pages of philosophical treatises or scientific journals. No, the Enlightenment was the catalyst that set the stage for a series of revolutions that altered the socio-political landscape of the globe. Monarchies crumbled. Crowns fell. Republics rose. Democracies were born. The ideas and theories propounded during this era provided the blueprint for the modern political systems that we, in the 21st century, often take for granted. Our electoral processes, our constitutional rights, the balance of power, all of these owe their genesis to the fertile ground of enlightenment thought. So, dear viewers, the next time you find yourself sipping a warm cup of tea and musing over the freedoms and liberties you enjoy, spare a thought for those bewigged, enlightenment-era luminaries. They were the brave souls who dared to kindle the torch of reason in the face of staunch opposition and rigid dogma. Their ideas sparked a revolution of thought, the reverberations of which we still feel centuries later. We continue to bask in the warmth of their wisdom, their audacious defiance a beacon guiding us through the darkness of ignorance and towards the shores of knowledge and understanding. Our modern liberties, our very notions of democracy and human rights, are all testament to their courage and their vision. As we close today's chapter in our journey through the Age of Revolutions, let us salute these Enlightenment-era mavericks. May the flames they ignited continue to illuminate our path, and may their indomitable spirit of inquiry inspire us and the generations to come. Remember, if you've enjoyed today's enlightening journey, make sure you gently push that like button and share this video. Your engagement helps us to bring more fascinating tales from history. Don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think. Keep feeding your minds, and remember, history is not just a tale of time gone by, but a treasure trove of lessons for our present and our future. Until next time, keep the wheels of time turning.